Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and the teaser trailer that came along with it over at Star Wars Celebration Day 2 over in Chicago has really got a lot of Star Wars fans around the world talking right now, especially what we heard at the very end of the teaser with Emperor Palpatine, which by the way guys, in case you guys did not know, J.J. Abrams shortly after the panel was able to confirm that Emperor Palpatine is indeed back in this movie and will be portrayed by Ian McDermott. Now, what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is, of course, the meaning of the title, The Rise of Skywalker. Now, we went over some partial, you know, basic, you know, uh, meanings of the actual title itself and how it's going to be connected to the MacGuffin of the story, which, by the way, is a plot device, as well as the Skywalker Bloodline Revelations, as well as the origin of the name Skywalker. However, a lot of people have been questioning, is Rey a Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker? So, just just recently during an interview between both J.J. Abrams and of course E.T. Entertainment Tonight got to actually have a chance to go ahead and talk with J.J. Abrams and discuss Star Wars Episode 9 and what happened in the teaser trailer and this is the big question by E.T. by one of the correspondents. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out that interview it will be linked below in the description. So this is what E.T. had to question J.J. Abrams and say. Who is the Skywalker? Is Rey a Skywalker? What is going on? And this is what J.J. Abrams had to say in response. Well, the title feels like it's the right title for this movie, and I know that it's provocative and creates a bunch of questions, but I think when you see the movie, you will see how it's, intend how it's intended and what it means. But in the flow of the title itself, the movie had a very weird responsibility. It had to be the end of not just three movies, but nine movies. And the idea of having to incorporate the stories that have come before, strangely, is the story of the movie. Which is to say, it's the characters in the film inheriting everything that comes before, and previous generations. The question is, can this new generation, are they up to the task? E.T. then questions again. Because, you know, people are thinking that you are going to undo the Rey parentage moment from The Last Jedi. J.J. Abrams responds by dodging the question and saying this, Well, I live for people to go see the movie and, well, see what happens. And that's what he had to say to the big question about is Rey a Skywalker and whether or not he's actually going to change Rey's parentage in this movie. So that is the biggest question of all, right? Who is Rey? Exactly where she comes from? We do know that JJ is going to explain her parents in this movie. He's going to give her a different lineage in the film. However, we're not quite for certain if he's going to fully change it, right? We do know that through Kylo Ren's, you know, dialogue in The Last Jedi, that he says Rey's parents are nobody. Now, yes, they may not be nobodies, but they may just be random people that we don't know. That's still a possibility for sure, as we have been going over Ray's father and, of course, Ray's mother being a, poor, being a part of the Church of the Force and stuff like that. However, the real big answer here, all right, could have the big question, by the way, could have something to do with Ray's grandparents quite possibly being linked to, let's say, for example, the Kenobis or the Palpatines or something like that. Crazy, right? So that's what JJ had to say in response to the correspondent that asked that question by ET. Uh, who is the Skywalker? Is Rey a Skywalker? What is going on? And he really dodged that question in a very smooth way, I gotta say. He did a good job. But one big question that has everybody talking is the true true meaning of the title itself, The Rise of Skywalker. Again, if you think about it, if they're ending the Skywalker saga, why would the title be called The Rise of Skywalker? Now, of course, this could be in reference to Ben Solo coming back to the light side of the Force. It could have something to do with, let's say, for example, with Luke Skywalker in a very unexpected way. Maybe Luke Skywalker does indeed come back to life temporarily, like we have been hearing these past months, give or take. Or it could really have something to do with maybe, you know, something very uh, outlandish that Rey is indeed a clone based on Skywalker DNA. And that's how she could be related to, of course, that Skywalker bloodline. Again, like I say, this movie is said to be heavily based on Legends and EU material. And in Star Wars Legends, they used Luke Skywalker's hand to clone a new version of Luke. And I understand, guys, if you guys are not into that idea and think it's a very weird idea, that's perfectly fine. But I, for one, think it could work if it's done correctly and written well and executed perfectly on the big screen. So, like I say, that's what J.J. Abrams had to say in response to that big question that a lot of people are talking about today of what E.T. had to question J.J. Abrams and what J.J. had to answer. 
smooth way of really dodging the question, let me tell you, especially when E.T. asked, you know, because, you know, people are thinking that you're going to undo the Ray Parentage moment from The Last Jedi, where J.J. just simply says, well, I live for people to go see the movie and, well, see what happens. That's what he said. So, like I say, guys, the title, very interesting. I actually really love the title. I like the fact that we get to see Skywalker in the title. It's just very nice to see that uh, you know, on the poster that actually just came out today. It's just a basic poster, by the way. And even just seeing it in the teaser trailer at the animation at the very end of the teaser, hearing Palpatine's voice, everything is just perfect. And I think that there's really something more to this story than we already know, and I would not doubt that they are using Palpatine's laugh and his existence in this movie to really kind of steer our attention away from something far more surprising in this film. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.